Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah and in this weekend project we are going to build a glue spark streaming pipeline for Clickstream and power the data lake with Apache hoodie uh, and query this data that is streaming data in near real time using Athena. So a little bit information about myself before we begin the project session. Uh, hey everybody, my name is Samil. I love to teach people. I work as a software engineer. I have worked uh, and developed numerous internal frameworks in my company as well, such as Batch Framework, which currently runs 7,000 jobs on AWS Batch. Uh, so let's get started with this project. So I'll walk you over the project, the overview, and then essentially the code base step by step. So let's get started with the project. So let's dive into the architecture and understand a little bit, okay? Uh, we have a lot of, uh, you know, producers that are going to produce messages at a very rapid rate. These are, you know, uh, such as mobile devices or, you know, uh, basically uh, logs that are going to ship the logs uh, to our Kinesis data stream. These uh, messages may arrive into Kinesis uh, stream through multiple ways. Uh, they may be using a direct put, put object, uh, you know, uh, using a Boto3 uh, client object, right? They might be doing that through uh, event bridge or maybe doing th that through an API. So once this data is coming inside into this block over here, which is the streaming real-time data, uh, what we are going to do is we're going to write a streaming Spark job, which is going to work on the worker G.25x because that allows me to save about 75 to 78% on the cost. Once this data is essentially, you know, we're gonna, you know, process this real-time streaming data, we're gonna essentially insert that into um, our Apache hoodie tables. Uh, I have done a lot of videos on Apache hoodie, uh, Delta Lakes and Iceberg. These are uh, modern ways to build data lakes because it essentially allows you to insert, update, delete, perform time travel, uh, run incremental queries and much, much more. So these data, again, are constantly being inserted into the uh, data lake, uh, basically our Hody table. And we have our end user, so basically we're gonna run standard SQL query against that streaming data. And the end user might build a, a beautiful BI dashboards uh, using uh, QuickSight, which is uh, built on the top of Athena. And these are this is basically directors, manager, analyst, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So that is the solution that we are gonna build, okay? All the code base uh, should be found at uh, this particular GitHub repository. So let's dive into the code, okay? So now we have an understanding about the architecture, right? Um, I'm gonna open up my YML file and I'll walk you over everything shortly. So I'll close this one here. Uh, over here, I'm essentially defining my service. Over here, I'm saying .envs true. I'm essentially defining uh, the region. And here, I'm essentially defining my tags. Uh, over here, I'm, I'm declaring a plugin. I want to use a plugin called serverless glue, which will help me to deploy my glue strips, essentially. In the resource object, I'm going to create two resources. That is Kinesis data stream here. As you can see, this is the Kinesis data stream. It's on demand and the retention period is for 24 hours. So that means the data in the stream is going to be there for 24 hours. The name of the stream is click streams. Over here, I'm creating a very simple glue database. As you can see, the database name is called real time streams. Uh, the catalog ID is nothing but a account ID, which you can found on the drop down and copy this one over here. That's the catalog ID. Now heading back to our glue section here, I'm defining my bucket because the glue script has to be deployed in a bucket, right? Uh, I'm de defining my temp directory over here. And then here is where I'm defining my job. So here I'm naming, uh, I'm giving a name to the job. Uh, this job is called hoodie glue script templates because it's sort of a template. A uh, script path, I'm giving the path. Uh, so if you observe in my local directory, I have a file called glue script.py, which we will go over shortly. Here I'm defining the glue version as three. I'm defining the ARN. I'm giving it an on, which has all the permission. I'm using three workers right here. Uh, connection, this is a hoodie connector that we're gonna use. I'm gonna show you how to add a connector shortly. Uh, these are a bunch of default arguments that I'm going to pass. Uh, please feel free to change them. I'll walk you over that uh, shortly. Uh, and then here we are essentially, you know, deploying the glue script in the folder called scripts. Okay. Now, before we go to the AWS management console, I do want to cover, um, you know, um, all these parameters. This is the database name, essentially the glue database that we created, created on line number 70 over here. Uh, here is the Kinesis table name. This is gonna, we have to create this uh, again, as I said. So come here to the database section. Uh, this database would be created again. 
you have to deploy this stack. So basically you can do the stack by saying terminal npx sls deploy and this is essentially going to deploy the entire stack. Once you're done, click on the database here and then click on add table and here put the name such as hoodie kinesis click stream table. This name should match what you are providing in the arguments in the glue script. Okay, there has to match. Uh, do that here and select the database as real time streams. Then here select kinesis from the drop down and then select your click stream analysis and the format would be JSON and then click on next. And then uh, ultimately there'll be an option to save, uh, which I've already done so. Uh, once you're done with that, now the next step is we need to create this hoodie connector, which I'll show you. It's a very easy, by the way. So now uh, head over to the connection section, open that on the new tab. And then over here, click on marketplace and head over to the bottom section where it says hoodie. Uh, should be somewhere here, I believe here. Now click on continue to subscribe. Uh, once you're done with that, continue configuration. Select the glue version as 3.0, select this, click continue launch, click on usage instruction. There's a blue button that says activate. This should open up in a new tab and over here, uh, this is important, okay? Uh, provide the name uh, called hoodie connection. This is the name that you wanna give uh, because we're gonna use this name in the script. Provide this and hit the orange button save. So now we basically created our glue connector. So, so far what we have done is basically we made a glue connector, we have a glue database and we essentially made a table in the glue database. Uh, the table that we made essentially uh, is basically for the kinesis, right? Since the data is gonna go into kinesis, uh, we are gonna identify the schema, we're gonna then you know perform our actions on that, okay? So hopefully you have done with that process, okay? So I'm gonna click on cancel, gonna hit back. So I'm going back to my scripts. Now, again, uh, walk you over certain other things. So this is where, uh, you know, the, you know, your, your hoodie tables are created, right? This is the location of that. This is basically for Spark. These are just, you know, they're gonna, you know, it's since it's a streaming job, it's gonna have those checkpoints, right? Uh, window size is 10 seconds. So which means I'm gonna um, process all the data within the 10 second window, right? Uh, so that's what I'm trying to say. After you're deployed, you have to do certain configuration for the projects, which I'll walk you over shortly. Uh, so head over to the job section. Uh, I have already deployed my job using serverless framework. Here you can see. Now head over to the job details, and this is very important. Over here, select from the dropdown as Spark Streaming because default would be Spark. So make sure you select Spark Streaming from the dropdown. Language as Python, worker type as G.25x. This is important because otherwise you'll spend more money on, on, the, on the project, okay? So G2.25x. Uh, scroll down on the advanced section and then here enable all the three um, uh, checkbox, job matrix, continuous logging and Spark UI. After that, enable the option that says use glue data catalog as a hive storage. Uh, this should be enabled. So here you should see a connection called hoodie connection. This is important. Make sure uh, it is there on your job. If it is not there, you can click on the drop down and add it manually. These are all the job parameters that we are going to add. And then here are all our tags here. Okay. So hopefully that made sense. Now coming back to the S3, uh, I have a bucket called glue learn beginners where, you know, all the data is going to be stored. So go going back. So I'm going to open up S3 here. Click here. And then here I'm gonna type glue, uh, basically my bucket name. Again, create a bucket for your project, right? So here you can see, um, you know, here is my script. And um, again, these stuff, don't worry, uh, the hoodie tables will add all these folders by uh, when the Spark job is running, okay? At this point, we are pretty much ready with all the stuff that we need. We have a Kinesis data stream. We have a glue database. A glue database has a table essentially in that. And then basically, uh, yeah, we have our glue Spark job, which is a streaming job. Make sure the worker is G.25x, okay? Okay, so that's done, that's great. And now it's time to run the project. So now before we run the project, we're gonna verify everything shortly. So what I wanna do uh, is basically, I want you to open up four tabs. So the first tab is gonna be Kinesis Data Stream. Click here. So here you can see I have a tab called Kinesis Data Stream. Hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, if not, I'll try to bring this a little bit down. Let me see if I can uh, arrange. Um, Give me one sec, I just need to arrange, uh, organize my window a little bit. So hopefully that makes sense. 
Okay, so now hopefully you can see, right? Um, click here, right? So I'm gonna open up three tabs. The first tab is gonna be Kinesis data stream over here, which is gonna receive real time uh, streams here, okay? Now the second thing that we're gonna do is basically we're gonna open up Glue. So open Glue here on the second tab, okay? And here you wanna head over to the job section. So I'll basically head over to the job section, click on this job and uh, run section. I'm not gonna run it yet, just wait. So the first tab is Kinesis data stream. The second tab is essentially a key, uh, Glue job. Now the third tab should be essentially your S3. So if you don't have it, I'm gonna open up my S3 quickly and I'll go to the bucket. So glue for beginners, this is the third tab and the fourth tab should be Athena over here. Okay, so hopefully you did configure all of that correctly. Now head over to the Python code. So now let me walk you over the glue Python code. Uh, by the way, just an FYI, uh, I have taken this code from this blog post article, which did a wonderful job. Um, but again, this was, I had to tweak the code. Um, so I essentially baked it into serverless framework, right? So if you come here, this is the article uh, and a special thanks to the author, Nikhil uh, Kohakar and Dipti as Bhattacharya. Uh, so that's the article. They will be there on my GitHub section as a reference. Okay, so now back to the glue job, okay? So now glue script, this is again given in the article, right? Um, so here basically uh, on the on line one to 12, we are defining all the imports, right? Uh, here we are loading all the arguments. These are all the job arguments that you are passing. We are loading that here, defining some variables, right? And then the job is actually very easy. Um, the main thing to note here is this configuration for hoodie, right? So if you observe carefully, and again, you may dive into the code a little bit if needed. I'm saying my unique identifier in my data is ID, and then I have a field called date. These two attribute has to be there. I'll show you when I run the job, okay? Uh, again, now everything looks great. And here, um, as you can see, glue context dot for each batch. For each batch, we get the data. We get the data as a glue um, data frame, dynamic frame. We call the function process batch. And here I'm using the glue connector. That is pretty much it, right? The job is pretty straightforward, okay? All right, so that made sense. And now it's time to run everything in action, okay? So now uh, we're gonna, ex let me just expand my screen a little bit here. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the click stream here and this should essentially show you all the matrix here, okay? So now in the project, you will be given a file called generate.py. Uh, what you wanna do is on the top, you wanna come and put the name as click stream. Provide your access secret key on line number 27, 28 and the region appropriately. And that's pretty much it. Now you can come to the uh, file that run.py. Uh, we're gonna upload 100 samples to, to, to Kinesis. So as you can see, on line number uh, 91 to 94, we are essentially uh, putting the data into the Kinesis stream. So now again, these are just, these are just fake data points that we're gonna add, but again, we are simulating as if it's a real-time data coming in. I'll, I'll put the sleep as one second and now, uh, we are simulating that a lot of records are gonna be inserted. I'm stopping it because the first thing that I need to do is I need to run my job. Again, this is a Spark streaming job, okay? So make sure you turn everything off once you're done with the project. Now, as you can see, my streaming job is running. It's currently in the running state, and then I'm gonna run this. Uh, run this. Now, at this point, what's happening is that these producers are producing messages. These are being inserted into Kinesis, either by a mobile application or a microservices or et cetera, et cetera. So these are um, you know, real-time data that's, that's going into the Kinesis stream right now. Um, here we have a uh, Spark streaming job, which is essentially gonna process that and essentially gonna insert that into the hoodie table. Now what you would observe uh, carefully is once you started the job, uh, if you go to glue, you will see a new table that is being created. So I'll show you quickly. So head over to the database section, click on the database called real time streams. And then essentially you will see a table created called uh, this one, hoodie kinesis click stream table. Again, this is the, the table name was given in the serverless.yml file. If you observe over here, this is that, um, sorry, not this, this one. Uh, yes, yes, hoodie streams table, yeah. So you'll see a table called hoodie stream table, as you can see, that one over here, right? This is the one that will be created after you start the job. This one over here, we created before uh, starting the job. Remember that uh, we essentially selected the source as Kinesis here, right? So if I uh, open up on this table, that is hoodie stream, which was created once I started the job, 
Here you will see that all the schema has automatically been identified here. Now again, this is real-time streaming data, as you can see. And now I am I can go to Athena. I can come here. I can I can just refresh, select my data, and then here I can now run my queries. So now let's run that. And here you can see I have all the data. Again, I have limited by I have a limit query for ten. Now you can essentially do group by aggregates all all the all those item on your streaming data. Now, if you observe that this data is essentially being inserted into the data lake, into Apache hoodie tables. So quickly, I will show you. So glue for beginners. As you can see now, these items are created by essentially uh, the Spark job. So if you see the hoodie stuff, that's where you have your hoodie table over here. And this is the metadata. So if I click here, here you have a partition called year. This is the metadata, the hoodie metadata month and uh, then the then the metadata day and then the metadata and then and these are your parquet files again now as you know uh, you know delta lakes apache hoodie iceberg they almost are similar they essentially allows you to basically do insert update delete perform uh, do time travel run incremental queries and much more this is the new industry standard way for building data lakes so what you have seen in this project and i just want to stop everything now so because I don't want to get charged, right? So in this project, if I quickly open up the diagram, download section. So this is the architecture that we did, right? The, the, the data is flowing real time into Kinesis data stream. We are essentially processing using glue. Uh, we did catalog that, we, catalog, we did catalog that essentially. Uh, then we insert, the, the, the Spark job is gonna insert um, the data, you know, you can do all, all that normalization and it's gonna insert that streaming data into the Apache hoodie tables. From there, we can query the data using Athena. The users can build beautiful BI dashboards. I hope you really enjoyed this project. It's a really, really fun project to do because this has a lot of concepts. This has concepts of Apache hoodie, glue database, uh, streaming uh, concepts. Uh, you know, basically then you also are using um, uh, a PySpark job, right? So basically uh, you, need, you need to know like the syntax, right? So by doing this project, this will give you a really nice overview idea, right? Again, this will give you idea about Kinesis. It's gonna give you idea about the AWS glue, S3, Athena, QuickSight and so on. I encourage you guys to strongly, strongly try this project out. I'll upload all the resources on my GitHub section and the references uh, from where I took the glue script initially, right? Uh, so please try this out. Please do try to attempt this. It's a really, really fun. And again, this is pretty close to a real world uh, project that you would do in a company, right? In companies, you will have these sort of projects. You're gonna work with the data, like you're gonna have real-time streaming data. You're gonna do all these um, stuff, right? So I hope you have enjoyed. And if you have any more questions, you may ask your question in this video on the comment section, or you can post an issue on GitHub. And if you want a further comment, fork the repository, and then essentially you can you know, add your items and then again, uh, uh, create a merge request, right? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you're gonna try these projects out. And with that being said, please keep smiling, keep programming, and a simple like would be appreciated on this video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the upcoming next video.